Fujifilm GFX 50R is the latest addition to Fujifilm's new digital medium format lineup. The first thing I noticed about this camera is that it looks a lot like my Fujika GW690, which is also a medium format beast from the 1970s, but more so it looks a lot more like the Fujifilm XE series, if you, anything, if you look at it. GFX 50R boasts an impressive 51.4 megapixel X processor sensor, which is the same thing that is also found in the GFX 50S camera. Same thing, but in a smaller range finder style package. Speaking of the whole package, the camera does come in a robust, compact magnesium alloy body that is both water and splash resistant, making it the best for all types of weather environment. The camera does have dual UHS SD card slots for high speed shooting. When I say high speed, I do mean three frames per second in a body like this. This camera also uses a 117 point autofocus system with face and eye detection, very similar to what you see in the X-T3. It does have a 3.69 million dollar OLED viewfinder, which is accompanied by a 3.28 inch, which I believe it's 2.36 million dot LCD screen, which you can use to access the menu. You can access the playback and also do live shooting. Now this wouldn't be a Fuji film camera if it wasn't complete with a set of dials on the top of the camera. So you do have a uh, shutter speed dial, you have exposure compensation dial. This dial here can be programmed to do whatever you want it to be, usually it's set for the ISO. And then on the lens, you also have the aperture dial, which is built into all the GF lenses. There's also an A mode, which you can use to uh, lock it into shutter priority on the lens. And also a C mode that you can use for command mode that you can use to access all the same stuff inside the camera. And it also uses an NPT 125 battery, which is built to withstand about 400 shots. I was using this camera around the city. Today I'm out in beautiful Chinatown, New York, trying out the brand new GFX 50R, which is the new medium format camera that was released by Fujifilm late last year. And also did a photo shoot with it and found that it did pretty well all in one charge. So I really had no problem with that as well. Also tucked behind here, you have an HDMI port on top here. And on this side, you have a mic and remote jack. Besides that, you have a couple of programmable buttons on the back of the camera. But this camera is a very nice feel in my hands. I like how it looks. This would be a great camera for someone who really enjoys um, very high quality street photography. Considering some of the other medium format cameras that are on the market, they're not really made for outdoors use. They're really made as studio cameras. But with this camera being so compact and such lightweight and such nice feeling, this, this would be a nice camera to use on a day-to-day -day basis. I really wouldn't mind this at all. It's not too heavy. It's actually a little lighter than my GW690, which is funny because that camera is 40 years old and also and, like, totally mechanical, has no electronics built into it at all. So I really enjoyed this camera and I'm gonna show you guys some of the sample pictures that I did with this camera for the couple days that I had. Um, so without further ado, thank you guys very much. I have to go return this camera like right now to the, the proper owner. So I'll see you guys next time.